Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Ralph with IMS 3D Printing and Engraving. Um, today we're going to make a lantern. This is the lantern we're going to be making. I'm going to show you step by step on how to create the box using Boxes PY, um, simple program to make it. Then you'll go ahead and take something that you have. I, I have screens. These screens have like little designs on them, like this one has. And um, we'll go ahead and add it. Cut it out. On the inside of this one, I went ahead and put on um, tracing paper to diffuse it. So it gives it a little diffusion. Uh, it really, really makes it light up nicely. I'll show you pictures of everything of that when it's done. Um, stick around, follow the video, and I'm um, happy creating. Oh, please, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe at the bottom. Um, it lets me know you like this video, and for me to create more content, it would be great. I enjoy doing these videos. Like I said, always, I, I'm learning. And as I learn, I'm passing on what I learned to you guys. So we're kind of learning together. If you haven't learned any of this stuff yet, there's a lot of learning going on. Um, but I look forward to making more videos. Thank you. All right, now that we're on boxes PY, we're gonna do a box, a simple box. I am gonna do it at 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters and 200 high. So this is gonna be preference. Um, there's finger joints on opposing sides. If you generate it, you'll see that it's all the way at the bottom. So here's the bottom, here's the bottoms. It's just a straight board at the bottom. If you wanna have like a little lip on it, go to stackable, hit gen generate, and it gives a nice little lip at the bottom. Those are my two preferences. Um, I like this one personally. Gives a little flare, I guess you could say. So with that one said, once it's there, we can download from here. Click download. Should pop up in your browser. Once it's downloaded, let's go back to Lightburn and um, open it up. All right, once you're in light burn, we're going to go ahead and import the box that we downloaded. First thing we're going to do is remove the bottom part. We don't need that. Next thing, we'll go ahead and line these up. Next thing we're going to do is go over to my art library. Um, this is where I keep all my screens and just all my artwork. If you don't have an art, if you don't have an art library or you don't have it set up, I have a video that shows you how to set it up. I'll post a link to it. Get it set up, utilize it. It makes it easy to find your stuff. Instead of digging through folders and everything else, it's right here. Just you'll be able to organize it inside light burn all right so i'm going under screens for mine and we're going to take something that not too modern there's leaves we'll do the leaves so i'll bring this in over here i'm going to shrink it up some just going to drop it in oops they want to tilt it. I want to leave a little room on the sides. So something like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and center it into the image. Raise it up a little more, just like that. We'll just make sure it's still centered. I'll 
I'll copy it. Paste it. We'll paste four. I mean, it doesn't really get much easier than that. We'll go ahead and group it. Uh, for the bottom, I like to add um, an extra piece. So I'm going to make a new square, which should be 90 by 90. And it should fit inside the square. Sorry, 90 by 90 was um, outside dimensions. Here, we'll probably want to go 82 by 82. There we go, fits inside. We'll have no issues. We'll pull this back out. Put it on the same layer line as the cuts. And we're going to add a circle. And the circle is going to be if you have a T-light, which we're making this for, I'm going to go ahead and measure my T-light. I believe it was 36, which is 36. We'll go 37. So it has a little room. And we will center it. And there we have it, all our pieces for our lantern. We'll go ahead and send this to the laser. We'll cut it out. And we'll look at the finished product. So as I was laying it out on my screen here to cut it, I just noticed something. I forgot to merge these two pieces together. So there's no line here. Otherwise, this is going to, going to get cut out. So we're going to go ahead and fix that real fast. Just going to take one at a time. Ungroup it. Ungroup that. Remove that line. Then regroup it. We'll do the same for each one. There, now it's fixed. Sorry about that. I was putting it together here to put it on one piece to cut and realized there was lines still in there. Let's go ahead and cut it.
Well, now that it's all done, and I mean, we have the finished product here. Couple afterthoughts. I think I'm gonna put a lid on this one. As far as gluing the transfer paper, I think I sprayed glue on the back side of the wood first, and then put the transfer paper. We'll make this look a little neater. Um, if you look inside, I could kind of see the glue marks, which you can't see it on the outside, but you can see it from the inside. I guess if you put a lid on this, you wouldn't be able to see that. And I think I will design a lid and put it on there and just see what it looks like. I'll, I'll show you that afterwards. Easy. Very easy to make these things. Very cheap. Doesn't cost much. Maybe a dollar, dollar and a quarter to make one of those. Um, turn around and sell it for $10, $15. You're making a great profit. Uh, they do sell. I did sell them locally here at a market. It, I mean... Easy money, I guess you could say. Easy money. Well, thanks. Please subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video.